the type of performance you did tonight uh, when your team you know, has been real and needed a win, obviously that's part of the thing that goes into it. But how much was this fueled by the fact that it was your birthday? Um, I don't know. I think it was fueled by a, a couple of things. Obviously, you know, us trying to play better basketball and um, seizing a moment. Um, you know, Atlanta has always been kind and welcoming um, to, to myself and my teammates, whatever uniform I've been in, they've always respected the game. Um, and, you know, some of the, you know, the competition that was out on the floor, you know, Trey, DeJounte, you know, um, a little bit of everything has something to do with it tonight. But, you know, it's always great that you can have a performance, but also it is results in a win. That's the most important for me. It's not that this is the only time this has happened, but it's somewhat rare to have both uh, Savannah and Gloria at, at the game. Uh, what did that mean to you in terms of the context of the night? Uh, I mean, they've been with me since uh, before this 20-year campaign started. They, they're the rock um, to everything that I do. Um, and to have them in there tonight, uh, sitting courtside and just uh, being a part of uh, this journey, um, you know, being here for my birthday, being here for the holidays, um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. LeBron, we, we said, you know, time is a, a, a little bit of a funny thing sometimes, but you haven't been shy about kind of like confronting it head on, whether it's through hashtag Wash King, I mean, the commercials this year. I mean, knowing that eventually time does get everyone. Like, what has been your approach to, like, kind of taunting it? And has that been one of the things that's worked for you in terms of holding it off as well as you have? Um, you know, for me, it's just all about preparing the mind um, and, you know, just putting in the work every single day, preparing the mind, just, you know, being as, you know, see if I, how, you know, great I can be on a day-to-day -day basis. And obviously, just, you know, throughout these seasons, just so many, so many different you know, narratives and roller coasters and things that you have to navigate through and, you know, frustrations and good times, bad times. So just try to say, you know, as even keel and as sharp as I can be, you know, throughout the course of a full season. And, and when the game is here and it's time to prepare and it's time to prep, you know, keep the main thing the main thing. And, um, you know, that's what I've been trying to do this year. LeBron, I think you were telling Mike when you started out one for five, you, you weren't sure if it was going to gonna happen tonight. But when was the moment that you thought, all right, this is this is I'm in my bag right now. Um, no, I just uh, I mean obviously starting one for five. Uh, I missed a couple of good looks early on, but that's just early for me. I, I was just uh, you know um, still you know being hard on myself, but just playing the game, you know playing the game and getting a good rhythm throughout the game. I was able to get into the paint, um, you know early on, especially in the second quarter, you know kind of you know. They erased that deficit that we had. Um, and then I started to get my outside game working a little bit as well. My three-point shot was uh, feeling good tonight. And getting to the free throw line, I've been very efficient at the free throw line as of late as well. So, um, you know, um, with the game being close, I knew I had to still make some plays either, you know, through my passing or, or through my scoring. And I was able to exploit some of the mistakes that they just had defensively. Um, and you said earlier, win is the most important thing. You guys have really struggled in a lot of clutch games this year. What did it mean to you to see you know, Russ making some plays, Thomas Bryant, Dennis making some plays at the end of this game to seal it? Uh, that's what it's all about. It's always a team effort. You know? No matter how great an individual effort is, you have to do it as a team. And, you know, seeing Russ make those plays, you know, he's getting that layup with a close game with the left hand layup. You know, Thomas Bryant running the floor after a steal by Russ and getting the, uh, the layup in transition. Uh, Dennis hitting the baseline jumper, um, you know, and a close one. Juan was so key for us tonight. You know, JTA was huge for us tonight uh, with AR struggling. So um, it was just good. So it's a full team effort. So Dennis had volunteered in the walk-off, right, that you had said you might get 40. That's, that would seem atypical maybe for you going in, just thinking, you know, kind of letting the game play out. Is that more just thinking what the team is right now, what they need from you, and maybe what your approach would be? How, how did that start for you today? Uh, I mean, I've been scoring 30, and it hasn't worked. So I mean, let me try 40. <laughs> well, we got to win. Math. So it's just because it's math. That's all. Last question. Uh, LeBron, this is your ninth time playing on your birthday in the NBA. Um, you showed us you went inside, outside, defense. So at this time, were you feeling like you was 18 again? <laughs> um, no, I feel better than, than 18, that's for sure. I mean, uh, I mean, at 18 years old, I didn't – I knew I had to play the game. I knew I belonged in the NBA. Um, but I didn't know what I could become at 18, but I, I just knew that I can – if I continue to put in the work and I continue to be true to the game, then I could be uh, one of the greatest players to ever play this game. I, I just always believed that. Um, so 
Um, there's times when I'm on the floor where I do feel like a kid again, no, for, that's for sure. You know, just being able to play the game, play free, uh, you know, having fun with it. Um, the competition, I've always, you know, has been uh, gravitated towards the competition on the floor. So um, I don't want to say 18, but definitely, I definitely felt like a kid again at moments out on the court tonight.